encouraged that it is not going to bother God one way or the other. No, but, but that's a different that's a different thing whether it bothers him or not. Since perish time, you need to understand that just because one perishes or millions perish or billions perish, that it is not going to bother God one way or the other. No, but, but that's a different that's a different thing whether it bothers him or not. I, I'm I'm saying what you're, what you're asking what you're asking is why doesn't God just save everyone? Yeah, if God wants everyone to be saved and He has the power to make everyone saved, why isn't everyone saved? Because the decision is He leaves it ultimately up to man. Right, so He's not all powerful. God, uh, humans' free will can overpower God. He wants everyone to be saved, but He gives them free will. So if people don't want to be saved... Yeah, giving people free will doesn't take away from God's all-powerfulness. It, it kind of does, because if, if he wants everyone to be saved, but he gives them power to override his his powerfulness, his all-power, then he doesn't get what he wants, therefore he's not all-powerful. He, no, he, no. St he still gets what he wants. Because God is God is a uh, a righteous God and, and and God is righteously judging. So if you don't if you don't like say for example, there's ten people right.